Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. So recently I've been looking for a new laptop to do a little bit of traveling with and I want something that's really secure because in the past uh, going to airports and things like that there's been a couple of different scenarios where I've actually been compromised and the anti-malware slash antivirus software that I was using uh, didn't really stack up to par, didn't really give me the protection that I needed in those certain situations. So I've actually partnered up with uh, Webroot and HP uh, to kind of deliver this video over here and we're going to specifically talk about the HP Pavilion Power 15 bundled in with the Webroot security software to bring you guys this video. So if you're interested, let's get right into it. Now before we get into the hardware review of the HP laptop, I want to just talk about some of the cool features that Webroot has to offer, specifically for some of you guys out there that are interested in uh, perhaps uh, getting a new antivirus software for your PC or even smartphone. So the cool thing is with Webroot, it's very unobtrusive and that's a key thing with me is that when you get some of these antivirus software, they're always uh, kind of in your face and always scanning around. The nice thing about the Webroot software when I uh, installed it right away. I noticed that it was very uh, in the background, a uh, very system a resource light as well. It actually takes about 15 times less memory than most of the higher end antivirus software. Additionally with me, I want to make sure that I have good password encryptions for obviously my username and passwords for all my sites, a good Chrome integration, as well as uh, credit card protection uh, since that's been compromised in the past uh, with some of my other antivirus software. So uh, Webroot has all all that covered. Additionally, you have 25 gigs of uh, online secure backup storage. So for your critical files, important information, you do have that feature uh, built into the software. The scans I also notice are super quick. And even with my uh, huge uh, PC that has all these different files, it only takes uh, maximum 45 seconds for a regular scan uh, to complete, which is awesome and great. And lastly, if you want to use Webroot security alongside some other pieces of security, whether that be for malware, spyware, or antivirus, it actually plays nicely with other pieces of software. So it's not uh, going to interfere with that if you want to use it in that fashion. Now with all that done, let's actually take a look at the hardware review for our HP 15 CB071NR, which is definitely a mouthful. But in terms of the laptop itself, as you can see, it's a very clean design. It has a very spacious keyboard as well as a number of a pad. The trackpad as well is quite large and very easy to use, uh, quite responsive. Uh, you do have the option for a backlight keyboard, but sadly there's no real uh, increments in terms of the brightness. It's either on or off. That's kind of a downside. You do have a Bang & Olsen's integrated speaker system uh, built in, but uh, the sound quality isn't tremendously good, uh, although the uh, fidelity on the higher end frequencies are definitely very clear, but it definitely lacks bass. But I'm going to be using headphones so that doesn't really matter. The big highlight for me is definitely what's inside and the ports and connectivity options. So in terms of the ports and connectivity you have uh, USB type C integration so that's awesome for pretty much all of the latest and greatest peripheral devices that you're going to get. You also have three full-size USB 3.0 connections, a full-size HDMI connection as well as an Ethernet connection which is crucial if you want a really fast internet without reliant on wireless all the time, although you do have AC wireless built into the laptop as well. Now the display itself measures about 15.6 inches from a diagonal standpoint. It has a native resolution of a full HD, so 1920 by 1080. It is an IPS panel with a matte finish, so it's pretty versatile and uh, pretty clear for uh, most modern day laptop standards. Now let's talk about the internal specifications. I'm going to just throw up uh, the uh, basic specifications on the screen right now so you have a good idea. In terms of the CPU, it is using the Core i7 7700HQ processor. So that is a four uh, core CPU with a thread since it does have hyper threading enabled. Uh, the base frequency is 2.8 and it can actually turbo up to 3.8 gigahertz, which is perfectly fine. In terms of RAM, we have 12 gigs of DDR4 memory and it 
it is upgradable to 16 gigabytes if you so desire. We also have a discrete graphics card from AMD, the RX 550. So I certainly wouldn't consider this laptop to be a hardcore gaming uh, machine, but you can certainly game at reasonable resolutions. For example, using Unigine's uh, Valley benchmark at uh, full 1080p resolutions, high detail settings, we get an average frames per second about 40 FPS, which is perfectly reasonable and fine. If you are interested in the Firestrike 3D Mark benchmark, we got about 4282 on that performance test. So uh, nothing earth shattering, but perfectly reasonable for the casual gamer. And certainly you can use uh, some of the aspects of the GPU for video editing and other kind of multimedia based applications. Lastly, I did want to also benchmark the CPU itself. And on uh, Geekbench, we got a single core rating about 4,500 points, a multi-core score of about 13,000 points, which is uh, perfectly fine and respectable. The Cinebench R15 benchmark, we got a score about 741, which is also fairly nice. So I definitely classify uh, this laptop to be kind of a mid to higher end range uh, machine. Uh, certainly it has a very powerful CPU as well as enough RAM to do a lot of different uh, tasks, whether that be for multimedia editing, uh, general computing, and even some light gaming since we do have that discrete RX 550 GPU. Now the battery life uh, from HP claims to be around 8 to 10 hours but realistically uh, for most people you're going to probably range around 4 to 6 hours based on my testing which isn't great. It's certainly uh, not as competitive as some of the other ultra books out there but this is not designed to be an ultra portable uh, kind of laptop. It's just a general purpose machine. Furthermore in terms of storage we do have a uh, 1 terabyte mechanical 7200 RPM drive. So storage is uh, perfectly fine in terms of capacity, but in terms of speed, it's quite slow and certainly not going to be as competitive as a modern day SSD, but that's always an upgradable option, which is perfectly fine uh, for me at this standpoint. Now, since we have Windows 10 Cortana integration, it's pretty easy to use a voice commands to open up certain applications or to ask general questions uh, to your PC. What's 220 kilograms to pounds? 220 kilograms is approximately 485.02 pounds. But besides that, guys, uh, that's really it. If you have any specific questions about uh, the uh, WebRoot security software or the laptop itself, uh, definitely let me know. I'll, I'll do my best uh, to answer your questions. In the meantime, uh, please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Without your support, none of this would be possible. So thank you so much for subscribing, uh, continuing to watch our content, and we're we going to have a lot of cool stuff uh, coming up very, very soon. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.